shockingly awful. That is the high point for you thus far. All right, guys, we're going to start working on our mask designs today, so be ready. Items are tape, and for the masking tape, you're going to put your name on the tape, and then once you've got the name on the tape, pick up the tape, come to your aluminum foil, and what you're going to do is you're going to put the name on the aluminum foil, just like so. Try and get it roughly in the middle of the foil just because it makes it easier. Now, notice I'm putting the name side down on the mold. Now, on the face mold, what I'm doing is I'm putting the name side down first because this top area, the top of the mold up here where we've got this, this is our work surface. So I'm gonna slightly press down a little bit to get that shape of the face. Now, once it, you've got it on there, you can again wrap the edges around the side. I'm just gonna do it real quick. All right, so got my foil on the mold, and notice I've wrapped the edges around, so I got a complete seal. Now, you're gonna probably have a couple edges where it doesn't fully meet, that's fine, that's not a big deal. And if you have a little tear because you press too hard on the nose, then don't try and expand the tear. If it gets too big, then yeah, you need a new piece of foil, but um, as a little tear, it's not gonna be a big thing. Because basically, this is our non-stick surface that when we take this off the mold, uh, the mold comes off nice and cleanly. All right, so, we have our face mold covered. We have our designs ready. So we can go ahead and start working on covering our mask with our base coat. So, got a big pile of snot right here. Now, you're gonna have individual containers on your table, but um, the big pots are gonna be me, and if you need more, just come and ask me. All right, so, we're gonna take some blue paper, cause I got a whole bunch of it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tear it into strips. So I've got these big pieces, we're gonna tear them down and do fine little strips, just like so. Bada bing, bada boom, got some strips. Now, gonna take a little bit of the snot, add it to the face, and then we're gonna add strips onto the face. So we're wet, and then add our dry. So take a little bit of the snot, and just give a little light coat on the top of the mold. Come back with your strips. Now I like to do a vertical, a horizontal, and then a vertical application. Take the extra snot that's on my hand, smear it on top of the paper. And you're just going to repeat this process back and forth, back and forth until you have complete coverage over that whole mask. All right, so once you have a base coat on your face of so, some of the blue paper, and again, the blue paper is there to add our base coat, but I want to see at least 10 to 15 layers. So one zero or one five, but I want to see at least 10 to 15 layers of that. Then once you have that process done, you're going to come back with some newspaper. We're going to do a quick light application with the newspaper first. Now, once you get to this stage where you have a good coating of newspaper, grand, I want a whole lot more than this, just, you know, again, for time, just try and get everything done. Come back in, and what you're going to do is start building in those features of your face in with the newspaper. So, you got a nice, on. let's say we're doing a Hellboy right here, so I'm going to push down on the bridge of the nose a little bit, take some the newspaper, add some snot to it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start winding it up. A nice little stick out of it. And what I'm doing is I'm adding layers of texture to that face. So I got the brow line. I want to make that nice prominent brow like Hellboy has. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make several of these sticks and line them up on the face. And then after I make those sticks to make it smooth again, I'm going to take a single piece of newspaper and lay it across the top and smooth it down. And you can do the same thing for horns as well. If, again, make round stick pieces and start it off loop it around just add a little more snot as you need to just to make it stick and then once you get it high enough you can start adding those thinner pieces around the top of it single pieces to stick and hold on and then you can start stuffing this with additional newspaper to build your horn off of that and create those different pieces that come off of the face I definitely want to see at least three to four attributes that you've added to the face to change up the overall structure good luck on this project hope you guys have fun with it catch you on the flip side See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.